This is my ABI on City Hall, the place to get the latest news and updates straight from the City of Abilene. I'm Mari Cockrell, Communications Director for the City of Abilene. There's a couple of items to note for the 4th of July holiday weekend. Abilene police have created a fireworks hotline to call if you need to report the illegal use of fireworks within the city. So just call 676-6598. Certain patrol officers will be dedicated to responding to fireworks calls from July 2nd through the 5th. Don't forget it is illegal to possess, open, or shoot off fireworks within the city limits. If your plans do include Kirby Lake, know that Kirby Lake Park will close by 7 p.m. the evenings of July 3rd, 4th, and 5th. This is in an effort to reduce the risk of grass fire and other hazards and allow authorities to focus their attention to the activities out at Lake Fort Phantom. Also note that most city offices will be closed Monday, July 5th. That includes no city link service, uh, but trash pickup for residential and commercial will run as usual. The Abilene Animal Shelter has been at or near capacity lately, so be sure to keep the animals at the shelter in mind if you're looking for a new pet. Also know that the 4th of July holiday usually brings an increase in animals at the shelter as fireworks scare pets and they break out or run away from home, so watch out for your furry friends. The latest unclaimed property list for the city is now posted at abilenetx.gov slash unclaimed. The city is holding more than 300 checks, totaling over $5,200. Most of the checks are a water bill, bond, or animal services refunds, and they range in amount from $0.01 cent to $100. Striping of the downtown roadways is now underway. Residents will first see crews stripe west to east through the central business district. All striping should be done around the end of July. Call Engineering Services at 676-6281 if you have any questions or concerns. The city's Parks and Recreation Department would love for you to join them at two community meetings to discuss the needs of Sears and Lee Parks on July 13th and the 20th. You can find more information at myallenparksandrec.com. You uh, may have also heard that the Cobb Park Recreation Center is temporarily closed due to staffing. Services there are suspended until about mid-August. That's when everything, though, should return to normal. The Abilene Taylor County Public Health District is still working to provide COVID-19 vaccinations to anyone 12 and up who would like to be vaccinated. So you can go to abilenetx.gov slash vaccine schedule to set up an appointment. Also, don't forget to check out the COVID-19 information dashboard at the health district's website. It is updated daily with the county's COVID-19 infection information. And finally, summer is in full swing for the Abilene Public Libraries and also Parks and Recreation. So Adventure Cove Water Park is open to the public uh, Thursdays through Sundays and available for private party rentals any day of the week. Visit abilenetx.gov to get the latest activity and programming info from both departments. And also click on Notify Me to sign up for news alerts from the city straight to your inbox or phone.